This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Here are two envelopes, each containing money. You can have one, and it's your choice between the two. You don't know how much money is in the envelopes, but I will tell you one envelope has twice as much money as the other. Okay, have your choice? Before you open your envelope and pocket the cash, I'll give you the option to change your mind. Do you want to switch envelopes? Does it matter? The obvious choice is who cares if you switch envelopes? It shouldn't matter. You didn't know how much was in either envelope to begin with, so how could switching help? But trying to look at the situation mathematically makes things pretty interesting. Let's let the amount in our selected envelope be x, since we don't know it. The other envelope either contains twice as much, 2x, or if we did select the better envelope, the other envelope contains half as much, x over 2. The probability x is the smaller amount is 50%, and the probability x is the larger amount is also 50%. Using these probabilities, we can calculate what's called the expected value. That is, the amount we expect to earn by switching or not. If we don't switch, the expected value is easy. We get x with 100% probability. If we do switch, there's a 50% chance we get 2x and a 50% chance we get x over 2. We calculate the expected value by multiplying the probabilities by the value and adding. 1 half times 2x plus 1 half times x over 2. Simplifying these fractions gives us 5 fourths times x or 1.25x. In other words, our expected value of switching is 25% more than keeping the envelope we originally chose. x versus 1.25x. What's going on here? How can switching be a better strategy regardless of which envelope we originally chose. Let's think of this creatively. Speaking of being creative, you should check out the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easy for creators and educators to share or monetize their content. There's everything you could need from collecting donations or payments, building email campaigns, and powerful analytic tools so you can gain insights. I've recently been rebuilding my site with Squarespace, and it's much more intuitive and clean than any other platform I've tried. Honestly, it just looks a ton better and I think way more professional. There's really no risk to try it out since you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, click the link in the description of this video to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Here's a few ways of looking at the problem that attempt to resolve this mathematical paradox. If one envelope contains an amount A, and the other contains twice as much, 2A, the total amount T in both envelopes is A plus 2A, or 3A. If you selected the envelope with the amount A first, you gain the amount A by swapping. You're trading A for 2A, so you've gained an additional A. If you selected the envelope with 2A first, you lose the amount A by swapping. You're trading 2A for A, so you've lost the amount A. On average, half the time you gain A, half the time you lose A. Adding these together gives us zero, the intuitive value of switching envelopes. Another solution looks at the expected value differently. If one envelope contains the amount A, the other envelope contains the amount 2A, then the expected value of the envelope you choose is 1 half times a plus 1 half times 2a, which is 3 halves a, 1.5a, regardless of which envelope you originally chose. This means, on average, the amount you receive is the average between the two envelopes, which makes sense. Thus, there's no contradiction here. A more philosophical resolution to this problem takes issue with how we assign probabilities. The way that the problem was presented, that we take the envelope and say that the other envelope has an undetermined value based on probabilities, isn't quite the case. The fact is, the money is locked inside the envelopes before we even start. One envelope has A and the other has 2A. Choosing an envelope 
saying it has value x and that the other envelope has 2x or x over 2, each with probability 1 half is a bit disingenuous. It's like trying to assign probabilities to events which have already been determined. My take on the problem, these issues are arising because you stand to gain twice as much as you would lose by switching envelopes. If you have an envelope with x and the ability to switch, you stand to end up with 2x, a 100% gain, or end up with x over 2, a 50% loss, each with equal probabilities, and this is leading to these asymmetrical expected values. But you only stand to gain more money if you think of the value of the other envelope as undetermined. In my mind, once the money's in the envelopes, it's locked in. The only undetermined calculation going on here is your probability of choosing the envelope with more money, 50%. And the chances you choose the correct envelope again by switching is still 50%. What's kind of frustrating is that even though many solutions have been presented, at the time of this recording, to my understanding, no proposed solution is widely accepted. Just like this paradox. If you like these interesting probability situations, you'll love this puzzle. I'll see you in that one.